Welcome to Blue Marble Geographics Ask the Experts. I'm Rachel Landry, and today I'm joined by my colleague, Jeff Hatzel, a product manager here at the company. Today, Jeff will be walking us through a new feature available in Global Mapper Pro, RTK Correction Support. Jeff, I think I can speak for the whole audience in saying that we're excited to see this new feature. Thanks, Rachel. Yes, today we are going to take a look at some new functionality in Global Mapper's GPS tools that is available in Global Mapper Pro. Users of our mobile app, Global Mapper Mobile Pro, will be familiar with the new RTK support within that app. It allows users to connect to external Bluetooth location devices and use a built-in NTRIP client to connect to a correction service of their choice to provide high accuracy location information. What we're going to look at now is that similar RTK support added to Global Mapper Pro, which comes with a variety of functionality updates. So let's go ahead and take a look right in Global Mapper. Jeff, if this is already in Global Mapper Mobile Pro, what is the utility of having it in Global Mapper Pro? I think the big thing there is flexibility for our customers. Right. Yes, we have a lot of users who are in the field working on mobile devices, uh, and that's great. Um, but we also have a large subset of users who are bringing laptops out into the field or working in their trucks or on a ship or on an aircraft where they are able to have a laptop with them. Uh, so this helps bring that flexibility to their workflows as they need it. So to start, we're going to be working with much of the functionality that's in the GPS toolbar here that I'm showing. Um, this may not be visible by default, but you can turn it on in the view menu. The first thing we'll do is head into GPS setup from the GPS menu. New here, we'll see that my COM port reflecting my connection uh, is referencing a Bluetooth device and that if provided the Bluetooth device will show its name as well. And that'll vary a bit device to device. I know our mobile app requires specific support for units. Does the same apply to this functionality? Uh, that's a great question, Rachel. So the mobile operating systems, Android and iOS, tend to be a bit more restrictive. Uh, on Windows, things can be a bit more open. Uh, and so the way that, that this works for this functionality is, as long as our user's device can be paired via Bluetooth with Windows, um, set up to communicate over a COM port, uh, send information via NMEA, and receive information for the correction services uh, via RTCM, um, any, any hardware vendor should work um, with Global Mapper Mobile or excuse me, with Global Mapper Pro. Uh, we've tested a, a few vendors in-house and I think we're gonna to continue to try and test more and more, but in theory, that should not be too restrictive on Windows. So another new component here, as I just alluded to, is the built-in NTRIP client. You'll see that I have the ability to enter all the parameters necessary for whichever service I'm using. And so in this case, I'm using my state's uh, free public network run by uh, our DOT here. I have the ability to view the details of the mount point that I've selected. And if I want, I can update whatever mount point I'm working with if necessary, if I've moved or I'm closer to a different one, whatever the case may be. There's also the option to set uh, an elevation offset if appropriate for your workflow. Um, maybe you have a specific vertical datum you're referencing or you're working with a pole. Um, things of that nature. You might want to enter a value here like I did just as an example. Then we also have the ability to save any of this data to a text file. So once my setup is complete, I'm going to start tracking. And this is where we start to view our location information. We'll see an icon on the screen here representing my location once the connection has been established. And that might take just a second or two. If we take a look at the GPS information page, and this page has had a variety of updates in Global Mapper Pro, you'll see it's even labeled Pro, um, because uh, we're receiving now a much larger amount of information from the device, and we want to display all of that. So we'll see our fix type, uh, currently just RTK float, but perhaps we'll get a RTK fix um, as we continue here. 
uh, we'll see information on our general location, elevation information, uh, along with reports of accuracy and confidence as well. The status section uh, at the bottom is an important one. So it shows me that my NTRIP client is running along with um, the NMEA and RTCM sentences, which have been transferred to and from the external device. And you'll see that we just uh, kicked over here to an RTK fix. So now I have um, a really strong connection to my location device. So let's go ahead and minimize the information view window and open up another new window we call sky view. So this view shows us a representation of all the satellite constellations my device is connected to. It looks like right now I have GPS, Galileo, and GLONASS in view. Each constellation can be toggled on and off if needed for a user's workflow. And this window is dockable, so I'm going to dock it over on the right here um, as we keep doing. And if we'd like, we could pop open GPS uh, information again to take a look at our information here that being uh, streamed in, even though we have that window minimized. Um, Jeff, can you explain where all this location information comes from? Yeah, that's another good question. Um, so in the end, it's all coming from the user's external device. Uh, essentially, what will happen is if they're using uh, the built-in NDRIP client for RTK, um, Global Mapper will send that information, that correction information, to the device. The device will perform any necessary corrections and then send everything back to Global Mapper uh, Pro so that we can see it as we're seeing it in real time here. So once our RTK connection is set up and established, we can conduct any location-based workflows. So we might be recording waypoints, averaging waypoints, or perhaps even you know, waypoints with an offset. All of that is available to us still. From the GPS menu, we can uh, view the live NMEA stream right as it's coming in and choose to save it or even save the track log as we move in the field. Uh, I always find it interesting, Rachel, how our users utilize this functionality, um, especially the track log. And I know we have some users you know, who are recording track logs while flying in an aircraft. So just a, you know, a great example of, of how this might be used in the field. Um, but that's about all I wanted to highlight today. So to recap, the new RTK functionality in Global Mapper Pro comes with the ability to connect to Bluetooth devices, uh, use the built-in NTRIP client uh, for RTK corrections, view the sky view of the available satellite constellations, and a variety of updated location information parameters as well. Jeff, thank you so much for sharing that with us. For more information on Global Mapper and Global Mapper Pro, be sure to visit www.bloomerblegeo.com today. And as always, be sure to join us for our next episode.